Good morning, guys. Welcome to another top with Sean Vegan and Frodo. Oh, with Sean Vegan and Frodo, brother. Just dropped off the bike back at the oversized baggage. I'm at the airport. My flight's a bit delayed, but you know, better to get early than <laughs> late for flights and things like that. I have been late to flights before, and that caused it missing me missing them. So it's uh, good to be ahead. Anyway, I'm pretty excited. I'm a bit tired. It's supposed to be fairly cold in New Zealand, so I've got, well, like not cold, cold, but like much colder than it is in Brisbane. So I have taken more clothes and all the warm stuff, <laughs> bring out the goods, and let's have a good trip. Guys, I just arrived into Christchurch where we're a couple of hours late to, de to depart, but it's it's all good, it's pretty cool. There is the flag, there's the town, which is at the airport in Christchurch. This is so crazy and surreal. Like because I used to live here, right? And I went to uni here for uh, like five, six years. And I used to come here all the time because then I after I did my bachelor's and honors, I also did a master's and the uni was here, so I was like coming here all the time. And like this car like that, I've been dropped off this so many times. This is like insane. It is very pleasantly, I can say fresh. It's, it's really warm. It's very sunny right now. It's 5 p.m. And you can feel that little, that freshness in the air. It's like almost that mountain freshness. But oh, it's just so beautiful here right now. Let's go, I'll show you that little sculpture and we chat for a little bit. So I am flying into Invercargill, that's where I'm going to start my tour. Like from Invercargill I'm just going to quickly go down to the very very south of New Zealand and then I'm going to start moving up. So we're actually going to be in Christchurch in a few days, just cycling up from Invercargill and then after that we're going to go further north to Nelson and so on and get a boat over to the North Island. So anyway, <laughs> uh, the flight went really, really well. I had concerns in regards to smaller planes that go domestically in New Zealand and specifically to Invercargo. So I had a concern that there won't be ability to fly my bike from Christchurch to Invercargo, where there's absolutely zero problems. I actually looked into renting a car, flying into Queenstown, renting a car, driving over to Invercargo for a couple of days, and then I realized how much extra money that's gonna cost. And although I do love, 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 love doing road trips in New Zealand and going places, like I absolutely love the South Island, but I just decided that it was just a little bit too much money for a couple of days of whatever, so I just, when with it, it was it only costs like fifty dollars, right, for like an extra domestic ticket in New Zealand. It's like so cheap domestic. And yeah, I'm just waiting for my flight now, and there was no issues. Check out the sculpture behind me, right there. So before you get into New Zealand, you'll have to check out all of your fruits and things. So make sure like you don't have any honey, but you're probably vegan, so <laughs> you don't have any of that. So I had to check out all of my fruit. I flew in here with Virgin. So again, with Virgin, they don't give you free food on the flight. So just make sure you have some of your snacks with you. So I have a whole bunch of fruit. I had like a huge bag of spinach. I had some buckwheat as well, which is really, really typical Russian food. And I absolutely love buckwheat. Like I grew up on that. So I had that and oh, it just feels really, awesome and really funny being back here. I'm gonna love cycling into here and just riding through the old street, maybe cycling through the uni and just taking it in. I have a really good feeling about this trip. I think it's gonna be exciting and epic and I'm just getting so excited about it now. And it just feels really cool to be back somewhere where you lived many years ago. And like, I haven't been back in Christchurch or on the South Island, New Zealand for like four or five years now. 
I was in the North Island about a year ago now, but not in the South Island. So I'm very excited about it. I'm very, yeah, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be nice and slightly chilly in mornings and evenings, but the, like the weather is just gonna be this stunning amazingness. And this is what I wanna say for now. Let's wait for my flight and get going to Invercargo to start the next trip. <laughs> You're driving into me, it's keeping us warm just arrived into Invercargill. It is quarter to 9 p.m. over here. It is still, look at the sunlight. Like it's still, like I mean it's not sunlight but it's not that dark outside. See? That is actually very surprising so I need to check out when the sun rises but that's really cool. That means we have a lot more time to cycle in the daylight through the day as well. We'll need to use lights less which is always always good. The weather is a bit the temperature is a bit chilly, it's 13 degrees, but I think it's okay. And I am just waiting over there to get my bike from Oversized and get an Uber to my Airbnb, which actually cost me $23 for night, like for the night, for tonight. And tomorrow we're going to start off cycling. Yay! A little cold but very excited so I got into my Airbnb and it's actually I also had a quick dinner and I'm about to have a shower but it is <laughs> reasonably chilly so I'm actually gonna like sleep fully clothed this is actually I want to say a very typical house for New Zealand like you see the ceiling like this there's like a bit of a out thing this is very New Zealand this kind of type of wallpaper, I want to say, is very New Zealand. It's like a washable wallpaper type of thing. <sighs> like just like the furniture, the way the house is laid out. It's very, really, really similar to the house. I actually used to live in back in Christchurch. Anyway, oh yeah, and I also had went to Countdown and got some veggie pumpkin soup for dinner so it was like what else 50 for like a big like little packet thing so that was good let's um go to bed it's almost midnight now I'm very excited to do cycling tomorrow and explore the country some more and show you the country and I hope you are having a beautiful wonderful day today <laughs> and yeah I will see you again in the morning.